Hello and welcome to the third part in this series on Apple ID. Today we are going to look at Apple ID in the enterprise. Just a quick recap. Apple ID is a single account that you have with Apple and you use it to manage all your transactions with Apple. We have seen that with an Apple ID you can purchase apps, you can purchase music, movies, you can even use Apple ID to make take advantage of Apple's cloud service called as iCloud. All this while we've been looking at Apple ID and iCloud ID with respect to users using these devices in a personal environment. But with an Apple ID in an enterprise environment, ownership becomes an important point to keep in mind. Basically, the owner of the Apple ID owns the data and the items that have been purchased using that particular ID. Now this is important to be aware of because in an enterprise environment, ownership of the data as well as the apps that may have been purchased using that Apple ID is important to keep track of. Unlike in a personal environment, any apps that are purchased with an Apple ID in an enterprise environment can be installed on a single Mac if it's an OS X app or a single iOS device. If you want to buy apps for a group of employees, you will have to create a unique Apple ID which is owned by the company for each and every employee. Then using those specific Apple IDs, you will have to go and make individual purchases for each and every employee. This approach is quite obviously tedious and very difficult to maintain. It will take a lot of time and also it's very difficult to manage things. The best approach is to sign up for Apple's volume purchase program. The idea behind the volume purchase program is to allow organizations to purchase apps, books in bulk and then distribute it to employees using their own mobile device management solution. This way, employees can use their own Apple IDs, which is their personal Apple IDs, but they can still get access to enterprise apps while they work for that company. You can even create your own custom app for enterprise distribution and have it distributed through the MDM solution. This brings us to a question. What happens if an employee purchases an app using his personal Apple ID? Well, under VPP, it's not a big problem at all because apps that are owned by the company will be distributed through the volume purchase program and the MDM solution, and they will always be owned by the company. Any apps that a, an employee may purchase using his own Apple ID will belong to him. Before proceeding ahead, I would like to mention that Volume Purchase Program is not available in all countries. It would be a very good idea for you to get in touch with your local Apple representative to find out if your country is covered by the Volume Purchase Program and they would be able to help you set up an account for the same. If in the rare situation an employee has to purchase an app for business purposes, let's say it's a single app or it's an app required only by one employee, in that case there is no real need for volume purchase, then the company will have to work with the employee with regards to reimbursements for purchasing the app using the personal Apple ID. Again, I would like to highlight that ownership becomes a key point under this circumstance. Because remember, the app will always be associated with the personal Apple ID. The same thing will also have to be kept in mind if the employee puts the corporate credit card or say a company card onto his own personal Apple ID and then uses that card to make purchases. Again, the company will have to work with the employee to make sure that 
reimbursement is done or compensation is done appropriately. Again, keep in mind that the person who owns the Apple ID owns the app and there is no way to get around this. This also applies to any other media and content, say if you purchase any podcasts or movies or any music or even iCloud data. Data on the iCloud is associated with that particular Apple ID. Companies will have to take due care on framing policies for the same. So if you feel that you do not want your company data to go on iCloud, you will have to enforce those policies using maybe something like an MDM solution or have it within the legal agreement that is signed by the employee when joining the company. Another key thing to keep in mind is the fact that Apple IDs are country specific. Not all apps are available all over the world. Some apps are available only within certain countries. So if you are a global company with a presence in many countries, then this is something you really need to keep in mind. You are going to have to make sure that there is a volume purchase program specific for each country if those countries have a VPP program and that the Apple IDs are specific to those countries. So it may happen that you have an Apple ID which has access to certain apps in one country but it may not have those apps in the other. These are things you will have to watch out for. Any apps purchased using a specific Apple ID is associated with that country itself. Now all this is assuming that you know you have personal Apple IDs or enterprise Apple IDs on a personal device. But it's very likely that you may have a company owned device. Even in this case, it is possible for you to allow the user to have their own Apple ID whereas you distribute your app and contents using an MDM solution and say a volume purchase program. With company owned devices, it's important to have certain policies with regards to usage of the device, especially with key things such as activation lock on iOS devices. If an employee is signing on an iOS device using his own Apple ID and he or she turns on Find My Friends, then activation lock is turned on for that device. Do make sure that the employee turns it off when handing the device back to the company. Of course, if activation lock is managed by an MDM solution, then it can be controlled through the MDM portal. To summarize, what are the things you need to watch out for? Well, the first thing you need to watch out for is payment. Who is paying for the apps? If there are personal apps being purchased using the personal credit card, that is no problem at all. If there are corporate apps being purchased using a personal Apple ID, then you need to watch out for ownership. Whether it's purchased using a corporate credit card or a personal credit card, it doesn't make any difference. You need to make sure that ownership is clarified. If ownership is a key and your country does not have a volume purchase program, it will be far better to create a company owned Apple ID and then giving that to the employee for their use with a corporate credit card if need be. In which case, since the Apple ID is owned by the company, there shouldn't be any problem. Again, this is a question of you know creating policies and having the right rules in place. There is no fixed solution or a single solution that works for everyone. The other issue is also with iCloud. Make sure that you make it clear to employees whether they can use iCloud or no, because iCloud data could be accessible on devices which may be beyond the control of the company. Also, if it's a company owned device, or a company on Apple ID, make sure 
that they have access to the company owned Apple ID so that they can perform any resets to gain control of the ID and therefore the device. To put it in a nutshell, when you're planning to introduce Apple ID based services in an organization, the key point really is ownership. And the best way to make sure that there are no problems going ahead is to have a clear cut set of rules on what the employee will be responsible for, especially if it's a personal Apple ID or if it's a corporate Apple ID, and who will be responsible for payments and for, from a security perspective, who will be responsible for maintaining the security of the data. Having a good set of policies and rules and making sure the employee is up to date and aware of those rules is something critical and will go a long way in making sure that using Apple IDs and Apple devices in the enterprise becomes a lot easier. Thank you.